Hello. How are you? What do you got for me? I'm 33, so I'm considered in this danger danger zone. First mm -hmm. and foremost, I want you to know I am very much a, a supporter. Um, but I just want to know, like, for the few or the small percentage of women who had odds stacked against them, okay. and now we have become in this danger zone, how do we, like, accelerate our process of potentially getting married? Well, let's start with a few things. Uh, do you have any children? I do. That's one of the odds that was stacked against me. How many do you have? Just one. She's 13. All right. Uh, obviously, you want to get married. What kind of man do you... What kind, were you married to her father? Oh, God. That was a huge odd stacked against me. Um, No. To answer okay. your question, no. All right. So why do you want to get married? Um, I feel like I, I am marriage material. Um, first or secondly, I'm in the military. I'm currently in Korea. So that's another odd that's been stacked against me with this whole being placed in the danger zone because I've moved around so much. Why do um, you want to be married? I believe in completeness and wholeness. And so... For me, that's what marriage means, completeness and wholeness. Um, it's very important for me to put my daughter in a home with a family. So that's, I guess those are, are you, my- Are you a Christian? I am. Um, you, know, I was, you need to look at what marriage, purpose of marriage is. Do you want to have more children? Just one. Okay. So ma'am, you got a lot going on. Mm-hmm. Um, and I got to be honest, at 36 with a 13 year old in the military. No, no, I'm 33. I'm 33, 33, 33, yes. 33. The 13 year old weren't married to her father in Korea. Um, and if a man does marry you, he only is going to get one child out of it. Christian, Christian, Christianity adds a different element too, ma'am, to be a help meet. To a man, right? So everything you said was about you, which was basically I'm looking for security and some and some place to raise my daughter, which is fine. But what you didn't say is what a man's going to get, or what or what help Eve would be to Adam. And this is often right. this is oftentimes what happens, and far too often with military women, mm -hmm. really are not so. You got to slow down and understand what the purpose of a, a man is and the purpose of a woman is and what and how you can be benefit, how you can be a benefit to a man that would would choose to be a stepfather to your daughter. That's how which question you got to answer. What can I do to be a benefit to a man that would be a stepfather to my daughter? Be and that's the biggest question you have to answer because that's what men are asking. Because effectively, you're not looking for a husband. You're looking for a stepfather. And and the reality is your daughter, while you may love her to death, is not an asset to an, a, another man. Yes, I've heard you say that many, many times. So without being able to answer those questions, how do you effectively put yourself out in front of men to be selected as wife. So I haven't had any issues like with dating. Um, I've like I've, I've just watched one of your previous videos and you would go and Ma'am, ladies, understand something. Please stop doing this. Dating and marriage are two different things. You don't have is you have issues with dating as a single mother. Of course you're not, because guys know you're sexually active and will have sex. Sex and dating is not marriage. We, we put women in two categories, wives and everything else. And dating is everything else. Guys don't date wives. Guys go marry wives. You have to date first though, right? Nope. I would, 
No. no. All, right. All right. I've told you. Well, no. that's news to me. Well, I, well, I, I get it because you've done things out of order. Right. So, you know, you've got it all out of order. And I would ask you, where's your dad at? Never met him. Don't know him. See? So what you got to do is you got to stop this because your daughter's going to likely learn and model what you're doing. And see, the unfortunate thing is single mothers who raise daughters who don't have dads typically don't even understand what a man is for. We're, we're there for resources and sex. And we're more than that. So... Um, you got a lot going on. I mean, I would say that, and until you really kind of get clear on what value you could be to a man who would be a stepfather to your child, yeah, you will be able to date. But that is, dating and marriage are two different things. I understand that. I'm actually dating, potentially, probably going to get married, but... Whoa, 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 No, 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 no. Wait a minute. What do you mean you're dating or potentially probably going to get married? How do you decide whether or not you get married? Because we talk about it. Well, I don't decide. It's not my... Right. It's not my decision, but we always talk about it. It's always in conversation. Right. How long have you been dating this person? For a year. For a year, right. And, mm-hmm. and, and and oh Jesus. Stop talking stop talking about stop having sex and see how long this marriage conversation goes on. I'm already in that seven months celibate. All right. Well then y'all should already be married. He's not here. I'm in Korea. He's in the United States. He it's was long, here once upon a time. Just let me stop. Yes. Okay, I gotta move on, ma'am. This is too much. <laughs> A long distance relation. <laughs> How many people think this guy is not having sex? Man. He is. Yes, this is unrealistic. And this is nothing. You ladies got to get real. You think a man is not actually not having sex? I never did. I, not, I didn't say that. I'm doing this for me. Celibacy is for me. What he's doing. All right, I got to move. All right, all right. So now you're going to go. Don't get defiant. I'm just saying. For me, I- you're, you're you're all twisted around and you think this is a reality and what you said is well we're talking about marriage ma'am let me let me back it down you're 33 but it feels like I'm talking to a teenager <laughs> not a 33 year old and marriage and life is serious and this is, a th- this is a problem we got in our community. We need to grow up and mature. We got to move on to the next call. Thank you. Thank you. Wish you the best. It's not